Okay, good day, everyone. So I'm going to be taking today's um, this thing. I said I was going to be talking about talking about um trailing stop and a break even, <laughs> a trailing stop and a break even. And what is it? What are those things now? Trailing stop basically is um is like an order for you as a trader, or it's an order, it's like a pending order, like the same way you have the buy stop, the sell stop, sell limit, and buy limit. So a trailing stop is basically like a stop loss pending order for you to mitigate mitigate against um loss on profits. You understand? Like now, look at this trade now. Take for instance this trade now. Um, I make I took a trade here on USD card. You understand? And it's giving me at the moment it's giving me sixty one thousand naira in profits. So looking at trade now, I let's say I wanted to leave it for a long while, a longer while. And at the same time, I did not want it to go below, let's say, um, 50,000 Naira in loss. Let me quickly set the stop loss. For, for those of you that don't know how to set the stop loss, you can set the stop loss in either of two ways. Number one, you come and check your charts. You understand? Looking at this buy trade now, if I'm setting a stop loss, I might put, I might put it here. I can put it here, um, let's say, on 1.21524, below this minor um, support. So let's let put that 1.21508. What I can do is just on this trade, I right click, then come to um, modify and put in stop loss here. Stop loss here at 1.21508. So modify, done, it's done. So this is my stop loss now. So the moment price comes down, it took, and hits here, it will take me out in loss. And on this trade, I can lose, I'll be losing, if it comes to my stop loss, I'll be losing 13,000 Naira. You can see it here, you can see the amount there. 13,000 Naira that I'll be losing if it hits my stop loss. So take for instance now, I, I don't want to say they take profit. I don't want to close it out immediately. I want the trade to run for long, especially if you were a spiking market, like, um, like um, what do you call this? Um, like if there were a fundamental that we're going to be coming out now, I can use a pen order with a trailing stop. All I need to do now on it is um, for trailing stop or then for break even, for break even, what I need to do now, my stop loss is already below my entry position. So if it comes down here, you can see that it will give me minus 13,000. Let me show it again. Minus, look at minus there. But for, for me to take it to break even level in the sense that I don't want it to even give me a loss. I just pull the stop loss above. Look, I'm pulling it up now. You click on it, then pull it up with your laptop. So you can see at the left part of the screen here. You can see at the left of, part of the screen. You see where it's showing me how much it's giving me wherever the thing is, wherever I leave my mouse. Now, if I drop my mouse here, automatically to set it there. I don't set it there. Understand? What I just need to do is come here. You can see minus 13. As I go higher, you see it minus 9, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5. Here it's at zero. I almost at break even. If I take it up now, you see it's not it's no longer minus, it's plus. Although it's a stop loss. So it's plus now. Now it's 7,000. So for breaking, let's say I want to set my break even at 11,000 naira. All I need to do is just drop it here. Boom. Modify. So now my stop loss is above my buy entry. My stop loss is above my buy entry now. So the moment price comes back, let's say price were to come, price were to come like this, come, 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 and come back down. The moment it comes back down here and hits me at this point, it will take me out in um, a profit of 11,000 Naira. Instead of my 61,000, take me out at a profit of 11,000 Naira. I can also take it higher as well depending on my risk appetites. So that is it for break even. You, you, you manipulate this by yourself. It's not done automatically. You understand, it's not done automatically. The stop loss, you have to take it above. For those of us that might be using phones, what you need to do is, hold on, let me clear this out. Clear, 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 clear all drawings. All right. For those that might be using phones, all you need to do is, you cannot pull on your phone. Let me delete this order. Cancel stop loss. Cancel. On your phone, you cannot pull anything. Like now, if I want to say stop loss, I don't even need to come to this place on my laptop. I don't need to come and click on uh, modify. I just pull from here. 
Once I pull it down, it knows it's a stop loss. Once I pull it up, it knows it's a take profit. You understand? So if I drop it here, it cannot work. A take profit must be above the price level. And if I pull the stop loss and try to take it up, it will not work. So first of all, I need to set the stop loss first. I need to drop it anywhere first. If I want to set a break even, I can pull it down here, drop it, set, stop loss is set. Then I now pull it up. Then the, it's now be recognized as a stop loss above. That is like a break even price. So let's say I set it at this point here. Modify, done. So now my stop loss now, looking at the trade, is at 1.22403. This place now, the stop loss is at is at 1.22403. That is for the stop loss. That is setting it with your laptop. You understand? That is for break even. So as it is now, I can even take it higher. So if I can take it up here and set it here. So in the sense that price comes down, price comes down, comes down. Once it hits me here, it will take me out in a profit of, um, let's see. Uh, where is it saying? Of 30, 38,000. It take me out with a profit of 38,000. You understand? That's what it should do for me. So I want to delete this. So for those using phone, I want to show you how you set this. It's still the same thing on your MT4. What you need to do is check the price levels. Check the price levels. On your phone, all you need to do is check where the price levels are. With your crosshair, just come to your... Um, you go to your phone, bring out your crosshair. This is your crosshair now. So check the price levels. For your stop losses in the phone, you want to set a break even. You come here, look for a price level that you're comfortable with. I can use here because here's like a minor support. You understand? So I can use this particular point now as my stop loss order on my phone. So I just check, get the price level. Price level is on 1.22571. This is for break even. 1.22571. So I, all I need to do is come to the trade modify stop loss here so on your phone you know how it to be so you just put in 1.22571 and you place it and it's done automatically so now whatever happens if this trade comes down let's say it starts to come down um just starts to pull downwards downwards once it hits you here it will take you out in profit on your phone you don't know how much this will give you that's just the thing. You don't know how much this will give you, except if you, are, if you know how to calculate the profit per peep. This guy is, you understand? <laughs> so, so that's it. That's it for a break even. That's it for a break even. So you can be changing it by yourself. Let's say the price continued higher to these points here. Let's say the price continued higher and went up, and you want to shift your stop loss higher. So that to give you more profit in case it comes down. So that, that means you're following the trend. All you need to do is come here. You just get the price level, then edit. Now, if you want to change it to 1.23418, all you need to do is come here, come to the um, particular stop loss and modify it. Or you come back to the trade and modify it. Still the same thing. Ah, I can't remember the price level. Let me let me get out that price level again. Let's say I wanted to change it to 1.23298 come here modify and put in 1.232 23298 modify and it's done you see my stop loss has moved higher so if the trade rate to continue higher i'll just be coming and be changing it like that i'll just be coming and be modifying it so this is just break even so i don't lose profits i'm up to 61 now but if it comes down and hits me i'll be at 45 at the same time, I can also maximize the trade by following it and be moving this. You understand? That is for breaking. Then for trailing stop, all these things are taken away. Like all the stress of you coming to change it can be taken away. In the sense that, let me delete this. In the sense that um, your stop loss would not be moving with price by a, giving it a particular distance of, let's say, 20 pips or 30 pips or 40 pips it's just maintaining that distance from price you understand currently now from my from my entry to to where price is is night 190 pips from my entry to where price is is 100 and is 184 pips sorry 188 pips thereabouts so i can just easily set a trailing on this trade 
that okay a trailing stop now i want my stop loss it's still the same stop loss a trailing and a break break even are the same thing but trailing is automatic while stop and um, break even you have to be setting and changing by yourself you understand for a trailing now you can just say okay i want my stop loss to follow price and give price a distance of let's say 30 pips or 50 pips of 100 pips you understand so it's, it will be like a towing truck a towing truck pulling a car now this car is going to be the stop loss and the towing truck is going to be the price level then the rope or the chain or whatever is pulling the car from the towing truck to the car whatever is pulling is the amount of pips you set so if you were to set let's say 50 pips the rope is going to be 50 pips so the moment price is away from my entry here by 50 pips it will start pulling the car it will start pulling my stop loss and my stop loss will start moving with price like this it will maintain a distance of 50 pips from price you understand so if the if the if the if the towing truck if the towing van now stops the car too will stop and maintain 50 pips but if the towing van now starts coming back it will still maintain that 50 pips it, it, it's not it's no longer maintain like if it starts coming back eh, the car will remain where it was it's not move back it can only move forward you understand Let's give it an let's let's give it a practical example now. Remember, my price is away from my entry by about um, 180 pips. So my trailing now on this, I can say okay, I'll set a trailing of let's say 50 pips. 50 pips is going to be 500 points. You understand? 500 points. So I come to custom and I put in 500 points. Okay, done. Look at it. So now it will be following price by look at look at it moved. I don't know if we saw this now, but it moved. It will be moving and maintaining a distance of 50 pips from wherever price is. But the moment price starts coming back down, it will stay where it stopped. It's not move lower. It can only move upwards following price. Same thing applies for a sale. Same thing applies for a sale. It will just be following price and maintaining a distance of 50 pips if price continues downwards. So as price continues upwards now, it's maintain a distance of 50 pips sorry i can't draw like that with this stuff 50 pips you understand but if price starts coming down it's not go lower than where it is at the moment it's not go lower than this point it will stay here so even if price is away from it by let's say 10 pips it's not go away to wait here for price if price now continues again upwards it will start following price again by 50 pips 50 pips 50 pips like that so this is a trailing stop it's done automatically automatically let me clear this out and one other thing i want us to take note of is that on a trailing stop your laptop has to be online you understand your laptop has to be online because the trailing stop is set up on your laptop not on the broker server you understand that is it for trailing stop it's a very beautiful tool, tool. You can use it in a spiking market like US 100 now. For those that are trading, this is. Let's let me let me modify the trailing. If you want to modify the trailing, what if you want to know if you have a trailing, just right click on your trade, come to trailing, then you see that it is from here. Sorry. Right click on it. You see trailing is already active, so you can delete all trailing. Or you can modify trailing from custom. Let's say I wanted to make this a hundred pips. That would be ten, a hundred points. That would be ten pips away from price. If I wanted to make it one thousand points, that would be hundred pips. You understand? Well, first of all, I need to delete this one because this one is already showing there as a stop loss. So I cancel stop loss, modify. Then I now look at it. The one of hundred points now has now activated. So it's still the same stop loss. It will follow price by the amount of points I give it. And you see it will be showing as yellow here. It will be showing here as yellow. If I were to pull this down, now watch. Hold on. You see it, it will come back here. It, it set there, then it came back here because the trailing stop is still active. So what you just need to do is delete all trailing stop. If you want to put off the trailing stop entirely, delete all trailing stop. 
Yes. The stop loss will just be here now. Then you can pull it down, modify, done. If I set it again, let me right click on it. Trailing stop. Um, let's say I put in um, 50. That one is too small. That one is not that. Depending on your lot size, 50 might not be small. 50 points. Look out. Ah, this thing will activate now. No, 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 no. Don't close, don't close, don't close. Delete all. Yes. And so that is it. I believe, I hope we're able to get the difference now between a trailing stop and a stop loss. So I'll share this video out. I hope it goes through. Share this video out now. All right. Have a nice day. Have a blessed and wonderful day and week end ahead. God bless you.